Talking about comedy to me is always like, is never funny, uh, which is kind of ironic. Um, I'm using that word wrong, I'm sure. That's like, uh, uh, whatever. B being anxious and being very in my own head, it also means I'm like very uh, insecure and I have a lot of like, you know, insecurities just rampant in my, in my head. But uh, this is going great. Okay, so I think um, finding, it's hard to differentiate yourself, but I think uh, that's kind of the idea of going up and, and you're kind of starting at the most broad and you're really finding your voice, you know, you're very much like funneling all the, uh, all the info to, to be able to make it to the point to where if, if there's any topic that you talk about, you could you could literally make a joke about anything. It's just because it's your voice and it's the way that you talk about it and, and the perspective that you have on it that's unique. So I think um, what sets me apart is just wanting to find that 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 unique quality. I don't think I'm like a a great joke writer. I think my improv is. Um, undeveloped to underdeveloped but uh yeah i don't know definitely trying to set myself apart but just i don't know how uh i'm pretty terrified right now basically i don't have much worked out material in my head so i uh i have premises and i have uh ideas of jokes but i I guess this will be like where I test them to see if they're funny. Um, yeah, right now I'm just kind of kind of nervous. Well, um, I definitely feel like uh, performing made me um, <laughs> respect other performers a lot more. Uh, definitely. Yeah, don't don't really get the uh, the nerves until you're up there and you know you're uh, being watched by everyone. Uh, I think it was a, a little bit of a tough tough audience, like they weren't responding too much. But I also you know know that I was kind of late in the yeah. night. Um, now I just look like I'm yeah, I thought really I'm definitely to get out of a smart car. will. It, I really uh, want to do it again uh, next time. Hopefully I have more actual prepared material and. I'm relying less on, you know, just pregnant pauses between everything that I do. Um, you know, I've done this before, and uh, I, I've always been interested in stand-up. Um, like, I think I got into it really young as a kid, and I, I just thought it was impressive how people could kind of, you know, when you're standing up there alone, you're you're vulnerable and you're like completely naked to everybody else, and yet somehow you're able to get an entire room behind you at times and, and you know, like seeing people like Dave Chappelle and Louis C.K. that, you know, I mean, obviously that, not now that's not a good reference, but uh, at the time it's kind of like that idea of being like a comedian, but also just talking about life and like philosophy. And of course, like George Carlin and, you know, Bill Hicks, people like that. But I think, uh, yeah, I, th I think it's a, I think that I, go up there in general just because I know that I want to do comedy and I think that it's the only thing that I can do but I uh, I guess there's there's some growing pains that go along with that definitely having to to work out you know your material Felt like last time went pretty well, and I'm uh, excited to, or decent, and not terribly, so I didn't bomb. Uh, so yeah, I'm ready to give it another shot. It's never, I feel like I only ever feel it when I'm actually, like my name is called, and I'm walking up to the stage, then it's like, oh fuck, yeah, no, now you're, uh, your time is like actually, it's time to get nervous. That's like when my body just kicks into like, oh fuck. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I would say for the most part, I'm just kind of, I was writing stuff down throughout the week. Um, again, I'm, I'm definitely liking how this is making me 
think uh, about yeah, comedy more and just kind of like uh, I got just always have it on my mind, which is uh, I think exactly what student, I needed in so terms of looking for just a role. Uh, writing. And normally it's flattering to get to, uh, cast in a movie, but. I got cast as the voice of a school shooter, so oh. I don't really know what that says about me. I don't know. Uh, if I plan on hopefully using the full time. Uh, <laughs> last time I probably had like maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, I, I know I'm not trying to go up there and like, you know, it's not a, a special, the people. Um, I'm just trying to try some things out, see what the reaction is, and, and kind of develop an idea of like what what's working, what my style is, and like, you know, figure out all the aspects of what I'm doing up there. Okay, um, uh, here's my impression of a southern judge using the Hawaiian Disney movie defense. Your Honor, lest we forget about Moana. <laughs> <laughs> See. To be honest, I think one of the one of the hardest parts about open mics is is you can't put say, that I much weight on shit. the result of any of them this is crazy. because what? if I were to go tonight oh and goodness. have and just bomb, which You're is a possibility, a then like damn. all I can <laughs> think is just go again because if I if I let that stop me, then that's like then I'm done and that's not, you know, no matter what, you need to go through those years of um, like strife and struggle and scraping by just to, just to respect that. But if you don't even start that, then you're never, never gonna be able to make that. So make it in the industry. Yeah, I hope I, I hope I don't bomb, but if I do, I'm not too worried, I guess. Thank you.